Uh, what I want to talk about is some basic performance numbers. You were impressed with what you saw so far. Hopefully, you'll be more impressed after my presentation. <laughs> um, I will show some utilization numbers. I took them from top. I'll, I'll talk about this in a minute. So they're, they're, um, I want to talk about the performance of the SDS and the SDC. OK, so we talked about these two components. The SDC is part of the kernel with the application. The SDS is the piece that manages the drives. OK, and I'm going to go over the performance of each of these components. Clearly, I ran a test to make sure that component is the limit. OK, it's not the network, not the drives, not anything else. OK? Um, so I'll talk about the config in a minute. We do have two profiles. One is called default. The other one is called performance. The only difference between the two profiles is how much resources we're using from the system when we run Scale.io. When you're running in default. And the profile talks about SDS resources? It, you have a profile for SDS, SDC, and the MDM. In but, this case, I'm talking about the SDS. So we're running default on the SDS. OK? So when you're running default on this config, you can get about 150,000 IOPS per SDS or per node. If you want a little bit more, you consume a little bit more resources, you can get 230, 240,000 IOPS, again, per node or per SDS. This the, is for the, the reads. And, and the resources you're talking about are RAM and CPU? And RAM networking? and CPU. Mostly RAM and CPU, and I'll show in a minute. Okay. So this, this is what we can get for the reads. For the writes, we get about half. Again, remember what Ayers explained. The SDS has to work twice for every I.O. that comes from the application. So you get about half the IOPS. It's a little bit less than half because writes are a little bit, have a little bit higher overhead than reads. But it's a, good, it's a good thing to remember. You get about half the writes as you do reads. Still 100,000 IOPS, writes per second per node. OK? Um, a lot of customers want to run Converge. So they want to run the software, that are, uh, Scale.io, with the application. And they're concerned about the resources that were consumed, look, that we're consuming. I'm sorry, what was, the, uh, what was the configuration of those nodes? Those were the, the, uh, the, the 48 drive over 8, so or six, six SSDs per node? So this config is a, different, is a different config. The one that Joel was using is a setup we have in the lab. This is a different setup that we have in the lab. This is the more uh, up to, this is the, the, the latest generation. Joel's running on older versions of X86 servers. But what was the drive uh, configuration that you? The, in, in this test, I make sure the drive is not the limit. It, so it doesn't matter. Theoretically, it doesn't matter what drive I'm using. I'm as guaranteeing long as it's supported in I have enough bio. drives, they're not the limit. The SDS is the limit. Okay? okay. What's important really is what CPU we're using. In this case, we're using the 2698 CPU. I'll, I'll give an example with a different CPU. For this CPU, we're consuming, when we're running at max IOPS, we're consuming about nine logical cores when we're running in performance profile. OK? This CPU, this setup has two sockets, each with 2698. So they have a, we have a total of 80 logical cores. And we're consuming nine at max. If you do the math, we're consuming about 10, 11% of the CPU resources. OK? This is for reads. There isn't any difference for the writes. We get the same. OK, if you don't want to use 10%, you can use the standard profile and only use five cores. At the risk of well, the question, any modern CPU, it sounds like we're going to be, by definition, over-provisioned in CPU capacity. OK, but remember that the CPU is supposed to handle applications, right? So it's not that we hyper, need yeah, the CPU I'm for. I'm thinking more on a pure scale out if I'm just building storage, storage nodes, pure. So this okay, is really storage nodes. Hyper I have an example for a storage node. For storage node, we take much cheaper CPUs. OK, okay. so this is for hyper-converged setup. For storage nodes, because we don't need so many cores, we just have one socket and a much cheaper CPU because we don't need it. That's and, exactly and, the and, point. And as far as RAM consumption? RAM, I, I didn't go into it. You can see here, this is the top. So these 
utilizations that we took from top. You can see here it's two gig. This is one example. It's more like eight gig, maybe 16 gig. It's nothing, really a minimal amount of resources. What, what's the bottleneck in that example then? CPU. This is CPU. Really, it's the number of threads that we allow you to run. That's, mm. that's limiting the number of cores that we can see. Um, just to explain one more thing that's important. We only use CPU when you need the IOPS. So on this chart, you see CPU utilization on the y-axis and IOPS on the x-axis. You see that if you're not running at 250,000 IOPS, you're not consuming all the resources. So if a more reasonable workload of 100,000, you're only using 4% of your CPU resources. <coughs> so a minimal amount of CPU resources are consumed. Same on reads and writes, I'm not going to go into that. SDC, so we're going, we talked about the SDS, I'm going to talk about the SDC now. The SDC is a kernel level application, so you don't see it as in one process, you see it in a number of processes, you need to add them together, but these are details. So what can we get on one SDC? On one SDC you saw from the demo, Joel was showing 450,000 IOPS, I can actually get better than Joel because he's using an older CPU. On this new CPU, the 2698, we can get 550,000 IOPS per SDC, per node, or per application. And you get the same number for reads and writes, because the SDC doesn't care if the IO is a read or a write. What's the response time for those? Do you have an average response time for this? So I don't have it here, but the response time that we get, now it depends on the drive. The response time that we get on SSD, SSD drives that we sell are about 250 microseconds for a read and about 330 microseconds for a write. By the way, from the application perspective. From the application perspective. No. And, yeah. and we can get lower if we need to, but this is the standard that we sell with a ready node. OK? <clears throat> um, in terms of utilization, the SDC consume about, consumes about six cores. So again, a minimal number of cores at the max. If, you're not, if you don't need the max, we don't consume the resources. Okay, if that application is only running 200,000, only 200,000 will consume 3% of the CPU. Okay? Okay, I showed an example with small IOs where the CPU was the limit. I'll show a couple of examples with larger IOs. In this chart, I have the IOPS on the y-axis, different I.O. sizes on the x-axis. You see the I.O.s, the small I.O.s have the, about the same number I talked about before. The larger the I.O., the lower the IOPS. The reason is that we're starting to get into bandwidth limits. What are the bandwidth limits? I'm showing exactly the same chart, but in megabytes per second. On the y-axis, I have megabytes per second. We see that we flattened at two gigabytes per second per node. SDS. The SDS. The reason we're getting two gigabytes per second is that this config has two 10 gig ports. So we max out the port limit. That's on reads, on writes, again, we get half, but we max out the ports. If I have four ports, this is an example of a test that I ran with a storage only config that has one socket with a cheaper CPU and so on. So we're not getting 240, we're getting 210,000 IOPS. If I have four cores, I'm consuming four gigabytes per second of reads and two gigabytes per second of writes. Okay? And we have other setups that I'm not showing here. With 425s, you literally get 10 gigabytes per second per node. You don't, you don't care what the networking stack is underneath. You can no. go 25, 40, 100. We'll consume whatever you give us. Yep. OK, my last slide is scalability. So I kept talking about per node, per node. Now what happens when you add nodes? This is a test we ran a while ago. On the y-axis, you see IOPS. On the x-axis, you see the number of nodes. We took 128 nodes in the lab, and we ran three tests, 100% reads, a mixed workload and 100% writes. We ran a test on 32 nodes, 64 and 128. In the old days, it was more than 
20 data centers. Sorry. Um, spinning disk? So with 32 nodes, you get 8 million IOPS. 64, you get 17 million IOPS. With 128, you get 31 million IOPS. This is as linear as you can hope. Obviously, it's not 100% because 100% would mean that we would get 34 million IOPS. We only get 31 million <laughs> IOPS. But it's still well, not very nice. Well, not at all. <laughs> Just for comparison, our friends <clears throat> from HDS or our friends from HP, HDS can get a max of 5 million IOPS. Our friends from Bar, two and a half. Per system, Irrelevant. right? I mean, per system, right? But what do you mean per system? This system surely has more than 100 nodes connected to it. Throw the system out, put the drives in the nodes, and you're all set. If you took, you know, <laughs> a dozen, <laughs> if you took a dozen three parts, you could get very good IOP counts but, as well. But what do you mean a dozen three parts? It's not comparable, right? This three part has 100 nodes connected to it, or 64 nodes connected to it. You already have the nodes. Why do you want to buy more three parts? These are SDS nodes, right? <laughs> These aren't SDC nodes. These are SDS These are nodes. hyperconverged, right? These are both. Yeah, yeah, I understand. These are both. OK? All right, I won't belabor Maybe. the point. But, you know. <laughs> I have one, one small comment regarding memory consumption. Uh, Dan mentioned that we can get to 8 gig and 16 gig uh, memory cons of RAM consumption. That's when the customers are activating the RAM cache, maximizing it. If you don't need RAM cache, then you could survive with a 2 gig, even 1 less, gig, and yeah. even less. Right? Yeah, in general, mm -hmm. again, it's, it's zero, right? When you look at what we sell today with you know, hundreds of gigs, gigs yeah, what's yeah. an 8 gig yeah. of consumption? Okay?